today I'll be reacting to This Is Halloween performed by voice play. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Sorry, we're all out. Oh my gosh, sad day. Thank you. Okay, real quick, for any of you who have seen the movie Trick or Treat, it's probably not suitable for younger ones like under the age of 18, but this music video is giving me vibes from the movie Trick or Treat. Comment down below if you know what movie I'm talking about. Uh -oh. Love it. else would do that? Tell me, who else would be the one to do that? Oh yeah. I love the back and forth between all the voice play. It's not just one person with a specific solo. It's just multiple groups of them are just coming in one at a time. Da, 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 and then da, 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 and then it's like everybody all together. Everybody scream, everybody scream. Oh my gosh, man. That wasn't creepy. Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween. <laughs> I love it, that's cute. Oh yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. I could totally see Jeff Castellucci being in Pirates of the Caribbean. I, this is nothing compared to that, but I could totally see it. Listen to that bass and Jeff in the background. It's hard to really grasp onto it if you're not listening carefully, but the blend of the bass and the tenors is just phenomenal right now. I love that vocal touch. Everyone hail to the pumpkin <laughs> song. Okay. Oh 
overall, I gotta say, what a creepy music video. I mean, that was a really fun music video to watch. I highly enjoyed that. And one thing that stood out to me when watching the video is I wasn't listening to just one particular soloist. I was listening to multiple soloists from Voice Play coming together, creating like a collaboration, like so-and-so featuring so-and-so featuring so-and-so. That's what it felt like. First, it was the tenor's part, then it was the bassist part, then it was someone else's part. This music video not only felt like it, but it sounded like a team building experience for Voice Play. I loved the creativity of this music video, the colors, the costume, um, the actions, the acting that went into it, the voice play members that show their musical theater presence. I forget what their background is, whether they started in musical theater or not, transitioned to acapella. Personally, I know that's my story, but I loved the creativity and the innovative thought that went into just making this music video. So right now I'm gonna call them characters because they're acting as characters and not just singers in the music video. But you would find one character acting as a werewolf or slowly becoming a werewolf, looking at their arm like, what's happening to me? I'm singing, but I'm also becoming something else. Jet with his hair, that's why I comment like he could star in like Pirates of the Caribbean or he could just be a pirate in general with his hair and just like honestly just naturally the way he looks. <laughs> and there were some characters that were turning into vampires and then it was just getting mixed around, different costumes were being created. And especially with the eye contacts, that was a really cool touch. Some were green, I think some were red, but for the most part green. That was so cool to watch. This video was more than just acapella. It was a performance, but not like you're just watching it on a stage. It's an actual music video in a studio, but it makes you feel like you're watching it at a live theater. That's what I love about voice play and their innovative creativity. It's just something that they specifically do that they're able to capture and turn into something that no other acapella group has ever done. I also thought the Little Pumpkins were a nice touch for the Halloween spirits, just seeing all the pumpkins stacked up on top of each other in the very middle. And then of course, all the characters gather around and dance around it because you got the da, 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 da. I was really looking forward to that part because I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but obviously they, they chose to go the right way and, you know, danced around the pumpkins and then laughed and, you know, it was just such a great music video. Great camera work. The cinematography was on point. I loved the editing. They always do a great job with pacing their edits and making sure the audience is in the moment of the music video and like nothing is ever uninteresting. So overall, I really enjoyed this music video and I hope you did too. So what were your thoughts on this music video? Did you enjoy it just as much as I did or could it have been a lot better and it just didn't meet your expectations? I'd love to hear your thoughts and I know other people watching this video would love to hear your thoughts as well. So be sure to comment down below what you thought of the music video and let's create a discussion. And if you're enjoying this video, I would highly appreciate you giving it a like. Let's pass this video around to other YouTube audiences that are just as interested in watching video reactions as you are. And if you haven't already, I highly encourage encourage you to subscribe to Jeffrey Hack Music if you're interested in watching more video reactions related to acapella. I want to thank two of my Patreon supporters. Their names are Ken and Linda. Thank you guys so much for being Patreon supporters. Having the generosity to donate monthly to my Patreon highly supports this channel. And you too, yes you, can become a Patreon supporter today. Just check out the link in my video description and there you will get exclusive behind the scenes content of videos, photos, and other creative aspects to video making for YouTube that you would not find on this YouTube channel otherwise. If you like listening to independent music from new creators or enjoy learning learning about how these videos come together, such as when you become supporters of Voice Play, Home Free, or Pentatonix. By becoming a Patreon member, you'll get to learn more about what goes into the creative process of these YouTube videos. So don't wait on it. Be sure to check out that Patreon link in my video description and see if it's for you. If this was your first video on Jeffrey Hack Music, then I highly encourage you to check out some more videos on this channel, such as cover songs, original songs, guitar tutorials, and I'll see you there.